What's going on everyone? So the New York Knicks just continue to win this NBA trade deadline. First trading for OG on Anubi, and now they're trading and reuniting with Alec Burke. Uh, this is a little bit surprising because the Detroit Pistons have been so reluctant to trade Alec Burke and Boyan Bogdanovich for anything other than like a first round pick or something crazy. And they are getting a pretty good deal in return in exchange that makes sense for the Detroit Pistons. I actually think that this is a solid deal for both sides. So the New York Knicks are sending Quentin Grimes and two future second round picks to the Detroit Pistons for Alec Burke. So again, I just I like this deal for both sides. Uh, both of these teams I think are really um, just winning this deal. It's very rare that you get something where it's like, okay, both sides are actually getting what they need. Um, for the New York Knicks, they're getting a legit 3 and D guy, a veteran guy that can come in, uh, plug right into the starting unit. Uh, I think they should start him at the two personally. That's my thoughts. We will see uh, what they decide to do. But Alec Burke is having an excellent season. Uh, this is a legit 3 and D style guy. So in 43 games, uh, he's played 21 minutes per game. He's averaging a hair under 13 points per game. Uh, he's also contributing to uh, 1.6 assists, uh, 2.6 rebounds, half a steal and half a block. Um, free throw line, he's shooting 90% from the foul line. He has an EFG of 51.6. Uh, Two-point range is a little rough for him this season. Uh, he's shooting 38.4% from two-point range on four attempts per game, but he's shooting 40% from three-point range on 5.7 attempts, which my guess is with the Knicks, he's primarily going to be a three-point threat. Uh, he's going to be a guy that plugs in. You start him at your two guard, in my opinion, uh, and you have him play alongside uh, Jalen Brunson, provide some three-point shooting. So now, if you're the Knicks, you got Brunson, Burks, uh, you have a OG on an Ubi, Julius Randle when he gets back and he gets healthy, and then uh, hopefully Robinson, right? That would be the ideal uh, scenario once you get into the postseason. And you got some nice versatility, you got good shooting, uh, switchability on the defensive side of things, you got playmaking, you got your star. The, the Knicks are really rounding out their roster very nicely. I really like what we're seeing from the New York Knicks as far as like just the moves. They're not doing anything that's like too overly aggressive. Uh, they're being patient. They're allowing things to grow and develop uh, for a Knicks team that just has a history of making poor decisions and and you know betting on guys that are just older or just don't make a ton of sense, things like that. So I, I really do like... Um, the moves that the New York Knicks have been making. Uh, the Knicks are currently the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, although they are tied with the Milwaukee Bucks for that three seed. They're only a game out of the two seed, so they're right there, and I do imagine that they're going to continue to kind of trek along and, and continue to climb in the standings. Uh, and then from the Detroit Pistons side of things, uh, you're getting a Get a couple second round picks, which can help for potential future trades, uh, things along those lines. But more than anything, you're getting Quentin Grimes, who has plenty of upside. He's extremely young. Uh, he's a guy that I think will fit in well with this young core, with this young team, and just really uh, just has a lot of room to grow, right? He's 23 years old. He hasn't really gotten the opportunity with the New York Knicks. Uh, I think going to a team like the Detroit Pistons, I think he'll definitely get plenty of opportunity, plenty of potential to, to actually make some things happen as far as that goes. And it's going to be kind of interesting, in my opinion, to see how things play out with Grimes and uh, the Detroit Pistons, right? How does he grow with that young core? How does he grow with that young talent? Um, does he really get the opportunity because that's a big thing. I think he's a guy that does have a lot of potential uh, to be a real two way player in this league if given the opportunity. Um, but for the Knicks, again, they just keep hitting, they just keep doing the things necessary in order to just really round out this roster nicely. Um, and real quick, as I'm recording this video, uh, we just got an update that the Knicks are also getting Boyan Bogdanovich. Um, they have added in Evan Fournier and Malachi Flynn to the deal to acquire Boyan Bogdanovich. Nothing like being in the middle of a video talking about a trade that 
uh, just went through and more additions end up coming in. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, look, I mean, this is really surprising. Again, goes right into what I was talking about, the New York Knicks, uh, really just making smart choices, smart decisions. Again, Boyan Bogdanovich gives them another three-point threat and a starting role coming off the bench, uh, gives them some real versatility. I don't necessarily think Boyan would start for the Knicks. Um, you know, maybe at the four spot momentarily until Julius Randle comes back. Uh, but the finalized version of the deal, as I mentioned, is Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burke to the from the Detroit Pistons for Quentin Grimes, Evan Fournier, Malachi Flynn, and two second round picks. Again, I think that this is a fleece level of a deal, in my opinion, especially for what Detroit's been trying to get. I mean, and if you're Detroit, talk about a, a blunder. I mean, they were getting first-round pick offers, in some cases multiple for Boyan, last season and decided to keep him, right? Quentin Grimes, again, excellent talent. Uh, Malachi Flynn, another young guy with plenty of upside, plenty of potential uh, to add to the nice young core. But Boyan Bogdanovich, I mean, that's a really solid pickup for them to add in with Alec Burke. Um, I mean, you get a guy that's averaging 20 points per game. Again, another veteran-style guy, shooting the ball excellent, uh, constantly being a threat out there. I think that is huge for them. Uh, Boyan's averaging 20 points, uh, two and a half assists, three and a half rebounds. Uh, a steal will be nice, rounded up to a steal. Uh, he's shooting 78%. From the foul line, he has an EFG of 56.9%, shooting 51.8% from two-point range on 7.8 attempts, and shooting 41.5% from three-point range on 7.4 attempts. This, again, is just, uh, what a pickup. Honestly, this is this is a great, great uh, position for them. Uh, great pickup, um, and really is just, uh, again, the Knicks are just making excellent decisions, in my opinion. Seriously, they are doing an excellent job of just picking up quality pieces uh, to really round out this roster. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? What do you make of this deal? What do you make of these trades? Do you love these trades? Do you not? Personally, I just, I just think that these are solid pickups. I think they made the right moves. I think they made some real solid moves. Um, I think that the Knicks are, are a real threat. I genuinely do. I think the Knicks are gonna be they're gonna be tough this year. Seriously, they they are doing all the right things, um, and and are at worst gonna be an extremely tough out. So good luck to the rest of the Eastern Conference and the league. But um, again, who do you think won this trade? I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Lets me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.